So we're gonna be using the brand new HMR9 SMG here in Modern Warfare 3. And this thing is underratedly very, very good. At first, I disliked the weapon a lot, but then I looked at the statistics and I started playing around with my attachments. I made an absolute banger. This thing's super, super fun. And honestly, one of the better SMGs in the game. So thank God we have another usable SMG here because a lot of them are pretty mid. Starting our build here off with the folding stock. That's going to give you recoil control, gun kick control, and fire aiming stability. So I'm going to show you some statistics here. It shows that the gun kick control is at 34.75 degrees per second, I believe is that what that is classified as. That's one of the highest gun kicks in the game. So that's one of the biggest priorities we need to be targeting here. And you can see 13.6% to both recoil controls and 9.3% towards the gun kick control, along with a very small sacrifice to aim down sight speed. Nothing too crazy though, but that gun kick control is the main reason I'm choosing it. The recoil is a nice added bonus. For the rear grip, I have the PCS-90 assault grip for gun kick control re and uh, just overall recoil control. Pretty much the same reason we chose the stock there. Uh, if you were to, when they eventually fix the magazines, right now they are broken. You can't add any magazines. This is the attachment I would take off, but just because it just, it doesn't give you that much. 10% to the gun kick control, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil controls. So if you want to run a larger magazine when they eventually fix that, this is the attachment I would recommend taking off. For an underbarrel, I have the Bruin Heavy support grip for the increase to gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil control, and fire aiming stability. The vertical recoil on this weapon is very easy to control. It shoots up very, very slightly. Nothing insane, but the horizontal recoil control along with the gun kick control is what I really wanted to prioritize. And that's exactly why I chose this attachment. We got 10.1% to the gun kick control, 12% towards the horizontal recoil control. It does hit your aim down sight speed quite a bit, but it's still at 227 milliseconds. One of the faster aim down sight speeds in the game. For a muzzle of the shadow strike suppressor. So I like to stay off the mini map. I'm sure a lot of you like to stay off the mini map. This is the just standard choice for me. If you don't need anything else, if you want some more recoil control, you can go with the monolithic suppressor here. But personally, I think you guys should try it out first with just the normal shadow strike suppressor. And our last attachment is the Thorn 90 barrel. That's going to give you tax stance and hip fire spread along with aim down sight seat, sprint to fire speed and overall movement slash sprint speed. So looking at this attachment, you wouldn't think this is the best barrel. You have one here that gives you bullet velocity. You have one here that gives you recoil control. But let me show you something. Stock this weapon has a 16.5 meter effective damage range, which is one of the best in the game. That is comparable to the AMR9, but this weapon has better aim down sight speed, better, better sprint to fire speed. Overall, this weapon is like the AMR9, but the good version, basically. That's the best way I can explain it. So this attachment is, in my opinion, the best one. When you run this, you're sacrificing a ton of mobility. Sure, your damage range is at 20 meters, but at the sacrifice of mobility. Not bueno in my opinion. By far the Thorn 90 is going to be your best option. And just in my opinion here, I would highly recommend putting both on if you want to. See how slow the weapon is while running this long barrel and then put this on and you'll realize exactly what I'm talking about. Here's the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to copy that down, you know, perk for perk, attachment for attachment, lethal for lethal. I have a ton of fun with this thing. I highly recommend you guys get this thing leveled up now that you are able to unlock it in the battle pass or whatever. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as always. We got a gameplay for you. And it's a cool, it's a gameplay. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy. After some deliberation here, I decided you guys are going to see a second gameplay for this SMG, but I'm going to be talking like it was the first gameplay. I realized it's probably a better idea for me to actually put Rio first because a lot of people are curious about the map. One thing I'm very disappointed about. Oh my God. I'm very disappointed that I can't throw a 50 round mag on this because that puts such a damper on my gameplay that I want to do like I have to constantly reload you know what I mean it's extremely disappointing gotta get right here bam but this SMG is good the more I've used it the more I like it dude where is this last guy this is the whole team on this hill Oh my god, they're right there. Holy smokes. We're gonna be OBJ. We're gonna be hill kittens. I'm just out of here. We're gotta be a hill kitten here. Team's getting roasted. Until we get teammates, this is gonna be a tough game. We gotta at least try to hold the spawns. If we get this advanced UAV, it's GG's. This map, by the way, super fun. Super good. Actually, like surprisingly super good. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much after looking at the 
weapon overlay, but dude, hill kittens, holy crap, man. He's got a knife, okay? Swarms in. We're hitting it. I am so, this weapon's movement is actually super good. Like better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought for some reason this weapon was gonna be more like of a slow firing type of gig, and I'm happily wrong about that. Happily. I gotta be careful here because of the swarm. That's why. Now the spawn should flip, so if we get up these stairs quick, There we go. I'm out of bullets, so I needed to take a dip for a second, pause, relax, maybe use my ears a little bit. I think it's a bold move for me to say that this is the best SMG in the game, but it's up there. Like straight up, this one's up there. On a scale of like one to 10, like this is one of my more, when I first used it, I disliked it. But once I spent the time to get used to the recoil pattern, figure out the build, I realized what this weapon's good at. It has a very good like damage range underratedly and the movements off the charts. So by me figuring that out, it, it helped me create the build. Actually, it helped me create the ideal build for the weapon by limiting the recoil and focusing more on the things like on Okay, so I actually don't need to worry about the hill as much as I thought, but um, worrying about the aim down sight speed and stuff like that, I found myself in a much easier situation. These guys were all over the objective at the beginning, and our team has made a comeback from hell. I just got sniped. I think it was a KV inhibitor. Is this him? That's him. Got him. KVD enforcer. I'm lucky to not get one shot at there. It's a big break for your boy. Okay, easy break. I think you guys will agree with me. The more you play this map, you'll also realize how good it is. Simple as that. It, it takes a second for you to get used to new maps. It always does. And people dislike them because of it. I could actually see this map ending up in the competitive rotation because of how smooth it plays. I think the gameplay on this map is very smooth. It flows very well. The spawns are fairly decent. I'm not gonna say the spawns are perfect, but it definitely flows very, very fast. Apparently they fixed a lot of the statistics in the game. So you can actually get a better idea of what the weapons are really capable of, but I feel like there's a lot of broken ones too. Like, uh, I've seen some, uh, some stats that don't make sense. This is one of the weapons and it doesn't make sense. It says it has like little to no horizontal recoil control, but when I used it without the horizontal recoil attachment, it felt awful, like genuinely awful. But then I chucked a horizontal recoil control attachment on and it felt great. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm bugging. I don't know if it's actually right, but I chose this one under barrels for that simple reason of it felt like I, my gun was shaking a lot. And then after doing that, it didn't feel the same anymore. It felt fantastic. Let's get this advanced UAV up. Yeah, this guy's waiting on me. Okay. Waited on him just long enough to shoot him in the back here. EMP is ready. Okay, that grenade was more of a keep back enemies type of grenade and it ended up working out. I want this double swarm. There's a guy on the outskirts right there that I'm very concerned about. Right there, yep. Same. Oh, there's another one there. He's got a sniper right here. Bam. Damn, he smoked me, but double swarm is in. 
What do we got going on over here? Thank you, sir. That guy's gotten me twice in a row, but my swarm is going to taste real good. My swarm is going to taste very, very good. They should come from right here. That was a shotgun. What are you throwing at me, pal? What do you think this is, pal? I'm saying that I might not even put my second gameplay in here, to be honest. I might not even put that favela game in. It was good, but it wasn't like this. This one I'm frying. Like I'm getting close to another advanced UAV actually. Okay, where are they at? It got really quiet. Oh, they're right here. I'm gonna die. I gotta go. Yeah, he's chasing me. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I was dead there. I was hoping that I could possibly get a hundred bomb. That would be my first hundred bomb on Rio. If I would have locked in the swarm, it's still possible, but a lot less likely now. A lot less likely I end up pulling out a hundred kills, but we'll see. They're all over here. This is going to be a better push than the other one. Or not. This guy's running for the hills. Where are you going? Got him. Okay. We're going to hit this way and see if I can get a flank. Because if I want these 100 kills, I kind of got to go. I got to be aggressive. Unless they somehow break this hill, which is not looking probable. Yeah, not probable. 93. We'll hit the nuke and call it a day. And I got another advanced UAV, man. Another one. 98 kills is the final. That was a good game. There may be a second one. It really depends on how I'm feeling when I'm editing. But G freaking G's. It's been a rocky update. I'm going to be honest with you. Lots of problems here, but I did find a way to... Well, actually, I believe you can actually unlock this SMG now for real, for real. But I ended up buying the bundle because I didn't know if it was actually going to get fixed. So I spent my freaking hard-earned money on this bundle that I didn't want just to get this SMG. Yeah, I, I mean, it's been a rocky update. To say the least, there's been a lot of complaints from a lot of people. I don't play Warzone, but I heard there's a lot of shit going on in Warzone. But I, I mean, I, there's no, no excuse. No excuse for Call of Duty. I mean, this is a multi-billion dollar company. Update should not launch this rough. And if it is going to launch this rough, you need to delay it. I don't know what you guys think of that, what your opinion is, but there's no way that they should be able to get away with this. I mean, oh, we got sucked by a grenade, ladies and gentlemen. But the new SMG reminds me a lot personally of the MP5. It, like, it just has that feel to it. I don't know if that's like a good representation. But it's kind of got the same the same feel. It's got the similar iron sights like the Lockman sub. As you can see though, very little recoil. It's pretty fast. You got some good movement with it. Overall, I have no complaints on the weapon as a whole. It's just a buggy. You can't run a magazine. I'd probably throw on a magazine. I'd probably take off the stock if I did anything. Take off the stock and throw on a larger magazine. But for now, I'm running fast hands. And that's basically the gist of it. I'm hoping they get their shit together, though. Rio's pretty good. I don't know if there's going to be two gameplays in this or not, but one of my gameplays between the LMG and SMG are definitely going to have Rio in it. So we'll see. I chose Favela, or I searched for a small map like Favela. Just because, obviously, if I want to run around with an SMG and be super aggressive, which this weapon is best at doing, is being super aggressive. You don't want to be playing on a, on a map like Afghan or Invasion. Just not going to work out for you. I'm not going to hit this advanced UAV just yet, but we'll see. 
Okay. Yeah, teammate got me a UAV, so we're in the money for now. And there's our swarm, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, a lot of a whole lot of stuff happening here that I'm not liking. I'm going to hit this. Yep, that's why. Where's this guy at? Hopefully we can stay loose up in their spawn here. There's a guy right below me. Yep. Uh, I'm going to hit this way. I believe this guy's down low. No, he's not. I believe actually he's all the way on the top. That's rough. I guess wrong. Let's get all the way over here. Hit the flank on him. This hill is probably the worst one in terms of uh, gunfights for SMGs. This is probably the worst one. Long range gunfights, SMGs. Yeah, they don't work. Got guys behind us here. I'm glad I looked at my radar. He's got a shotgun and I almost missed. Okay, no more. Okay, no more advanced UAV. See what I mean by these iron sights though? Ride me a lot of the Lockman sub slash MP5. I'm gonna kind of stay slow for a second here because I don't know where they're gonna spawn. I don't know if they're gonna spawn behind me here. I'm currently unsure. Also don't wanna hit the swarm. I wasn't even trying to hit the swarm. That's why. That's why I didn't wanna hit the swarm. Dude, that's so unfortunate. They really gotta fix that. There's no reason that swarm should kill me right there. No reason, just my opinion, of course, but. That's kind of an L. That's an L that I die in that scenario. He fall off? I think he fell off. Hey, Dan. I need these spawns to flip. I need to be up close and personal, and they're all near me. Bam. Okay, that should have flipped the spawn here so we can hit the stair route. Maybe we can get a double swarm here for Lucky. That would be nice. But I also don't want to... I, I'm, I don't know. There is time. I was going to say, I don't really... I just choked so hard. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed a breakdown. Absolute breakdown. That's inexcusable. A lot of time in this game, though. I But that was free. That was a free uh, double swarm if I would have actually won the gunfight. That's just L plays out, your boy. Definitely L plays out, your boy. That right there is the downside of having to run mag holes. And that's why I really want them to freaking fix the magazines, dude. Fix the magazines. If they fix those magazines, I definitely, I definitely find myself in an easier situation with a lot of these gunfights, not having to reload constantly. Dude, I am frying. That's the thing. Like I'm cruising around this map, getting up close and personal with people doing exactly what the weapon is good at. We're on a 10. These guys are just flooding out of here like rats though. Advanced UAV, we're hitting it. EMP, hitting it. Maybe teammates will hang out for a second here and not push everything or not sit on the hill because I am at 67 kills and there's some serious potential here. Nope. Nope. It's all right. It is all right. Double swarm is in. Let's see what this swarm can do before the game ends. Hopefully at least a little bit. Got to take her up here. All 
I mean, the swarm got me some kills there, so that's good. Seventy-eight kills. Probably a second game incoming. So. Or this might be the second game. I'm not 100%. We'll see. I had a lot to say. So 